yes my dear friends the previous video we have seen how a packet travels in the network so what are all the components required a packet travel in the network right so now we will see how these packets are traveling from one switch one node to another node okay let us take the same environment router and the routers are interconnected and router connected with an a switch switches connected with an a pc pc2 and pc3 so a same way switch 2 PC one, PC two, and PC three. In the network, usually the destination identified by a MAC address. And this part called as an a local area network. We are calling this is an a local area network. Okay, so. Look at this. The same way, this part called as a local area network. Usually, the local area network connected with a switch. The switches are connected with a router. Okay, so router always know the language about IP address. That is, we are calling as a IP routing, IP address based routing table. and the mac the switch always talk to the node in the form of mac table okay so what is the mac address mac address is a physical mac address is a physical address so physical address of a particular node a particular node the length of mac address equal to 48 bits 48 bits and this is an a permanent address for a particular node if this is having in a mac address 1 and this will be the permanent address for this particular pc right then what is an ip address ip address is an a 32 ip address is used to communicate in the router to router in the network it is an a ip protocol so which is length equal to 32 bits this is also a unique address like a mac address but the only difference this is this the ip addresses can be Changed at any time. Uniquely, it will be assigned to any any particular system, but changed at any time. But the MAC address will never get changed for system to system. So that is the single difference between the MAC address and the IP address. Uh, otherwise, both are unique. Okay. So what happens now? The packet will be usually connected with the MAC address. Any frames or packet. want to send what happens it will be generated from the particular node hello message and this already attached with an a mac 1 right so this mac are connected with the switch the switch is nothing but an a port number of ports there are 24 ports switches are available many ports switches are available so we are usually using as a 24 ports okay among these 24 each port are port 1 connected with mac 1 port 2 connected with mac 2 so this configuration is matching with an a switch address uh, switch device the same way here the port 1 connected with mac 2 port 2 connected with mac 3 
so through the port only every packet will be delivered through the port the mac will be get delivered okay so now what happened our frames are whenever the frames are transmitted in the network it will first reach to the switch along with the mac address then added with the re reaching to the router along with an ip address so this ip address added with an a source ip and destination ip so uh, by using this source and a destination ip it will be traveled in the network so now once it reaching to the destination the destination router will forward to the respective switch and the switch will decapsulate the ip address then it will take a mac address identify the mac respective mac address so this is what called as an this language is converted uh, called as an arp protocol arp is an a protocol converts ip address into mac and reverse arp converts mac to ip address so such a way that the communications will be taken place in the network thank you all we will see how the ip addresses get configured in the router in next video